What's going on? So, uh, we got a new flight video today. We're back at the field, and I gotta admit, it is, it's like a swamp. It rained, I wanna say, like, all night. Uh, it, the sun never really came out today, and the field, well, it's, it's wet, listen. Yeah, so, anyways. Um, I got a few really cool planes out here today. Um, and we're definitely gonna fly it out here because you know what, it's just too warm in January to pass up and no one's out here, no one's out here. So aside from my socks getting completely soaked, uh, we'll just man up and give it a go. So what do we got today? Today we got this beautiful flight test simple cub made from foam board. It's running on a three cell setup with a 2200 milliamp hour pack. Um, and then we got this beautiful beast. This is the FMS Pitts 1400. And believe it or not, it has not been flown yet. So we are going to mate in it today. But as usual, we are gonna warm up our fingers on something that's a little bit more comfortable. And I really wish I had brought my boots because I am getting soaked. But anyways, um, yeah, so this is what we're gonna be doing today. Now this is a six cell plane. Um, it's gonna be running on a 4,000 milliamp hour Turnigy heavy duty pack. And I'm gonna put it on the tray and I'll show you. I'm gonna put it all the way in the forward section. And that balances out pretty well. Um, now this plane had a secret surprise inside of it. Um, it came with FMS's gyro, the Reflex version two. Now the beauty about this, if you haven't seen anything or know anything about it, is that it's like already preset. You kind of just pop your battery in, you bind it to your receiver, and you make sure it's like on a, I guess the fifth channel or whatever channel your uh, gear is on. And you have three options. You have an option for stability, which is sort of similar to uh, Spectrum's Safe Select, where your um, flight envelope is limited and you can't really get into a crazy attitude, or if you let go of the sticks, it writes itself automatically, kind of helping you out. So with that being said, it almost has like a flight assist when landing and taking off, because as you give it more throttle, you're supposed to climb, and as you decrease throttle, it kind of comes down, but in a safe attitude. It has off and it has optimized, which means that you are flying with like AS3X only, but yes, this is not a Spectrum or a Horizon Hobby product. So you don't have AS3X, you have instead the full three axis gyro working for you and the flight envelope is at unlimited. So I'm excited to get these guys up in the air. Let's start with the Simple Cub and uh, give it a go. So I have the timer at about seven minutes, which is perfect for the Simple Cub as it really runs efficiently on this uh, Admiral 2200 3S. And this pack, by the way, is crazy old. You would not believe how old this pack is, but you know, you take care of your packs, they, they kind of tend to last forever. So don't run them below 20%, keep an eye on your timer and you should be okay. Now again, this is a flight test Simple Cub and I completely put this thing together. Um, from plans. I didn't even order the pre-cut from Flight Test. So yes, it did take quite a while to print everything out, trace it onto foam board, um, and then cut it. But you know what? That's part of the hobby and it is so worth it if you have the time, especially in winter when you're sitting home freezing and thinking about nothing else but drinking. All right. <laughs> So this guy does not have any gyro in it. It does have four uh, channels. So we have ailerons, elevator, rudder, and throttle. And that's about all you get with this guy. It is the basics, the basics of the basics. And I love that about it. So we'll check our surfaces. Usually I like to give a full aileron on takeoff and then I'll dial it back. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Good, up, down, and I'll give it full elevator as well. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Good, and left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so as I said before, this field is crazy soggy. So you know what, I think I'm probably just gonna hand toss it. 
and get out in some places where it's not so soggy. Feels good. I take it back. Let's run it. We'll run it right into the wind. All right, here we go, going up. So it's a little gusty. Uh, not really too crazy windy though. And this plane has plenty of authority on the surfaces to kind of combat the wind. Plus this motor is crazy strong. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of wind up there. It's kind of making me rethink this maiden here. Nice little pass. She's flying great. Oh yeah, definitely a little bit of wind up there. Oh yeah, she's practically standing still. Right now I'm on half throttle, believe it or not. And she has plenty of power to get out of any problems. Kind of more worried about the landing than anything else right now. I think we'll be all right. Take it up. Oh, this field is gross. Should have brought my boots. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of wind and I'm kind of now rethinking uh, how my landing here. I'm definitely gonna come in from left to right. I know that much. Maybe I should just give it a practice run. Let's see here. Kind of cut the throttle. Bring it around. Glide it in. And that's the, uh, the wet grass for you. Trips it right up. You know what, I'll take it. Great. Clean these props off. Don't ask me why. Got about four and a half minutes left on the timer. Let's take it back up. It's definitely one thing about this plane, I, I always gets a little hairy on takeoffs. You just gotta kinda crank that throttle and just get those surfaces kinda working. I feel like once that happens, you're, you're golden. I took some video of a flag nearby up on a hill and honestly, it didn't seem like it was moving that much, but I mean, hey, listen, I figure if I have control over this little thing, that pits should be able to handle this wind, no problem. <laughs> At least that's my thinking. But I mean, if we don't try, whoa, little hammerhead. What the hell? Nice. Now, inverted on this cub is not so great. So if you do build one of these things, don't go upside down. You're not going to appreciate what happens next. But yeah, going around, big loops. Doing some rolls. It's all good for this. I wonder what a snap roll looks like on this. Not very pretty. <laughs> okay. Let's try it one more time.
come back in for a nice slow and low approach. A lot of rudder. Beautiful. And yes, I am flying without a stabilizer. <laughs> Believe it or not, just my uh, my frozen stiff fingers controlling what's happening right now. All right, I think we'll make one more approach, one more pass by, and then we'll kind of uh, land it, get the pits ready to go. Look at that crosswind, man. All right, coming around for landing. Oh, ah, oh, that water, that mud. Well, success, I say. Minute 27 left on the timer. Good enough for me. All right, let's clear it out. Well, let's get into the pits. So uh, this is, like I said before, gonna be running on a six cell pack. It is the heavy duty Turnergy 4000 um, with a 60 to 120 C discharge. So that's, that's pretty good. <clears throat> and always check your batteries before you put them in. This guy's at 98%, I'll take it, six cell. All right. So the beauty about this plane is that it has a removable battery tray. And just take a look inside. Everything's nice and clean. I have the orange RX uh, six channel and I have the reflex two right there. <clears throat> this um, battery actually did not come with the proper end attachments. So I went ahead on Amazon and bought the adapter so that I don't really need to cut and solder anything. And I run it up several times, so I know that it works just great. All right, so this is a heavy pack. Um, I, just so you know, right in here, there are a couple of um, Velcro, so that it just doesn't slide on you, even though these straps are actually really, really good. And then it kind of just slots right in there. Make sure you hear it click. And you know it's locked in. All right, let's plug this bad boy in. She sounds pretty good. So right now it's gonna do its calibration. And there we go. And she's ready. Okay, everything's locked in. Everything looks great. I'm gonna check everything here. Ailerons. Ailerons on high rate. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Rudder, left, right, left, right, left, right, good. And elevator. Left, up, down, up, down, up, down. Everything looks great. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is just check my throttle. She sounds great, a lot of power. And the very, very last thing I'm gonna do because uh, I haven't flown this plane yet, even though I have used the Orange RX in another plane, I know it works fine, is I'm just going to range check it. And there's nothing wrong with doing this. Um, it just ensures that everything's gonna work at a distance. And 
it is wet out here. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of move these surfaces back and forth. I'll watch them as she wiggles around. I'm about 30 paces, I'm holding down the trainer button. It says reduced power right now, so I'm just watching it. See if she stops at all. Everything looks great right now. Everything but my wet socks. You see her just wagging her tail. This is exactly what you want. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so right now, um, if you look at my sections here, I know that uh, it's in safe select. Well, safe select. It's in stability mode, which is like safe select, which is that zero button there. And then if I kind of move it to the center, that is off completely. And then if I move it all the way down, then it's in optimized mode. So I'm gonna fly it on stability mode. And I know that um, it's actually in stability mode. I'm just make sure my prop is locked because I can lift up the plane and kind of lift it and move it around. And you see like, that's not me. That is the plane trying to ride itself. So she's working great. And if I see any adverse reactions, of course, I will probably cut it. Um, but anyways, so here we go. Let's taxi out and see how she rolls on this grass here. Oh yeah, I'm loving that. Looks great. All right, here we go. Going up for the maiden flight with the Pitts FMS 1400 millimeter. Uh, you know what? Going up. Gyro is off. Gyro's off. I don't know if I put the gyro on right. I'm sure I did. But right now it's off. I give it a go. Wow. Really touchy on the elevator. I'm going to turn my elevator down to low rates. She's flying great. Look at this. This is awesome. Such a beautiful bird in the sky. Right now she's at 50%. It looks like it needs uh, It looks like it needs up throw up trim. So we're just gonna kinda get it up there. Move it around. And a little bit higher into the wind. Yeah, she definitely needs up trim. A lot of up trim. All right, she's flying good now. Right now she's about 50% throttle. Yeah, I like that. Looks great. I'm gonna turn the ailerons down to low rates. And I'm gonna try stability mode. I'm gonna see what that's like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So really quickly, um, I'm banking hard. It's not rolling over on me. And then when I let go of the sticks, boom, she writes right back over. That is awesome. I love that. All right, let's go into optimized mode. So now I have a full flight envelope. And uh, yep, she's doing exactly what she's supposed to be doing. So high speed. Freaking great. Cool plane, man. See how she rolls. That was a low rate roll. See the loop. <laughs> I'm loving this plane. I have to admit though, she is super touchy on the sticks. May have something to do with my rates, but yeah, if you, uh, Oh, look at this. Beautiful. <laughs> Ran
bring it back around. I'm going to bring it in for a nice low and slow. This plane is awesome. I'm going to take it up a few mistakes high, kind of bring it around, see how she flies inverted. All right, so there's my four minute warning. Um, I'm going to kind of ignore that because I know I can get a lot more time out of this plane. There she is inverted, no problem. Going back around. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it into a uh, stability mode and I'm going to kind of just bring it down on stability mode and I think this is going to really help me with my landing especially with something this big so right now actually it's throttle off and it's just kind of like gliding I'm helping it down um it doesn't want to come down which is pretty cool so I'm going to kind of bring it back around here maybe get it a little bit higher Flat turn. Wow. Okay, that was a little sketch. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Let's try this approach one more time. She's got a little bit of power. Right now she's in stability mode. And down she comes. Beautiful. All right, so uh, we went 47 seconds over the timer. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of bring it back around and um, I'm gonna check the voltage. So as you can see, it has a ton of power. Like I got, was in a pretty precarious situation there for a hot minute, but I was able to power right out of that. And that is what I love about this six cell plane. And not for nothing, guys, this thing is heavy. I mean, I've got to be carrying more than 10 pounds in my hand right now. So don't think that it doesn't drop out of the sky. It looks floaty, but it, 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 it freaking falls. It's got to fall. And I'm pretty sure if it fell wrong, it's going to really just wreck. All right. Let's see what we ended up with here. So that was four minutes and I believe 47 seconds. 48 seconds. 71% left on that pack, guys. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. You know what? I think I'm gonna stop there. Uh, it's still kind of like sketchy on the on the wind. It's not too steady. Um, I wish it was. And it's like blowing right in my face, so I got a nice crosswind, which isn't the greatest situation. But you know what? This plane is really, really sweet. So um, just a few things to keep in mind with flying this plane. You have to keep some speed, obviously, on it. And not for nothing, that reflex gyro, too, it works really well. But those control surfaces, they are super sensitive. So don't go banging sticks on this plane, because you're going to kind of get some crazy things going on unless you uh, know what you're doing. Also, on the landing, just kind of keep it a little bit more, I guess, uh, steady and definitely into the wind. That crosswind wasn't helping me at all. But you know what? Thank God this thing has power. It has plenty of power to kind of just pull itself right out if you're just unhappy with anything. Um, and yeah, man, this thing is solid. I'm so happy I had a positive experience with this. So yeah, go out, get yourself a FMS Pitts. 1400 version 2 you will not be disappointed cheers guys